What's happening, party people? It's your boy, Crazy Crackhouse. Back at you with another cop. Today, I want to go over a shoe. Um, this is the first time actually um, having an opportunity to actually hold one of his shoes in my hand. Uh, Virgil made a lot of hot item shoes that were very hard to get. And I really, to be honest with you, didn't waste my time on probably 90% of them. I really did. I did go for the green one uh, that recently dropped. The Air Force Ones, they flop. Uh, they are still sitting online as today. They are still sitting online uh, in a full run size. Uh, these here were a little different. They were a little special like, and you know, I look at these like my adapts and it's, it's a different kind of shoe. It's not the shoe that everybody want to just run out and get, uh, but the shoe did sell out. I think it's very well made and I want to go over the shoe myself and you know, give you the really real if you were on the fence about buying the shoe or if it was in your mind uh i did do an on foot this time uh, i'm gonna do an on foot short and i did try them on i did walk around them and i'm gonna tell you how i feel about it and happy new year let's get it going first of all this shit comes in a huge box it says safety deposit box um i actually did be because of the shoe itself um went down to a ten and a half um you know this joint you know it's got the off white name on the bottom of the box and, the, and one thing that you know i want some guy a handful of guys there's not a lot of guys that actually reviewed the shoe um but you don't see any nike anywhere on the box outside that bottom label right there but actually on the box itself, no. Uh, on the inside of this box, and I'm gonna turn this box around. We got the Nike check right there with the off-white. And they actually, they did the paper. Like I said, I, you know, I'm not an off-white. And they did the paper with the off-white in the Nike truck on the inside of the box. Double layer, you know, this in, uh, you know, on both sides. Uh, but it's a huge box. It's not bigger than the adapt box. The adapt box was like a big Rubik's Cube. You had your charger in there and, and everything. And I love those. But I tried these on. Um, they actually feel pretty good. You know, a lot of people complained about uh, the rubber on the bottom of them and, um, you know, the feel of them, but I actually really, really, um, was digging it, you know what I mean? And if we go over the shoe, you had the conventional, um, tag that's on it, if I can get that in there. And this is on, you know, this is his signature on all the shoes. Uh, they do have the rope. Uh, shoelaces, which are very, very high quality shoelaces. They're not uh, inexpensive, you know, like some El Cheapos. What they did with this shoe, they put a zipper um, down the middle of it. So you can zip up the the toe part when you get up here as far as the tongue is concerned. Because see, if you look at the tongue, it's really like a half a tongue or something. When you look at it. But it's got the Nike check and the, and the off-white hand. Uh, this is a project. Uh, this shoe, and one of the reasons I got it, uh, it was a commemoration. Uh, they actually made five of these. They only released this one and the brown one out. I really don't think the black, the red, and um, I think that other one was a dark gray or something like that. I don't think they're ever going to be released, so that's a different story. Uh, when you look at the base of this shoe and the material that went into making it and you know, the suede on the back of the suede is really, really high quality. It's not uh, some El Cheapo or, or, or something like that. And you know, you have your Nike symbol inside of it. This is some very good suede type high-end corduroy or something that they put in the end basins and stuff. And as far as the toe of the shoe as well, if you look at the toe of the shoe, and that's made out of some some kind of, you know, it's like some, 
uh, like a Gore-Tex type of thing. And then on the side of the shoe, you know, you got your normal. I don't think you can see it that great, but there you go. You got your normal off-white signature there. And, you know, basically that's on both shoes. If you can get, let me see if I can get that in there all the way. That's on both shoes. You know, the, that's the branding. And then um, this multiple color rainbow around the shoes too. Uh, it's another thing. But what you do, you take the, uh, see each tongue is different. And that's how they did it. To create off-white. If you can look at it like that. And then they put the Nike check around this way. And also um, with these shoes under the bottom, uh, which where these joints go, they read tread lightly. If I can get it all in there. That's what the bottom of them read. And like I said, I did try these joints on. So, you know, I give them my approval uh, as far as, you know, on my feet it goes. And, you know, that's something I never really ever do. But I want to give you a close look at the spikes on the bottom of it. And um, that's what a lot of people didn't like the feel. But if you wear Air Max with that swirly bubble on the bottom of it, it's it's actually like the same feeling. I don't own any, you know, I don't own any Air Max with the bubbles uh, on the bottom because I don't like the way they feel. But you know, this shoe was a commemoration, and that's one of the reasons I just, you know, I'm gonna stash it in the collection. I'm gonna see what happened with it because, um, like I said, this is the only off-white shoe that I have, and you know, they did put a signature inside the shoe as well. On the liner and then they put Virgil was here man he rest in peace man the man was a genius when it comes to shoes man I just your boy can't get his hands on them you know what I mean that's a fact so if this got to be the only one um, you know that hit the collection I ain't even mad because I will put some shorts on and rock these joints don't get me fucked up on a nice summer day. Um, but I'm going to take them for a test, man. And then they got the little Nike emblem right there. Virgil was showing these two. Same thing on the inside. But it's a great feeling shoe. You know, it's not hard, you know, on your feet or whatever. But it's about what you want to do with it. Or if you really like it, or if you're going to get some use out of it. But you can get jazzed up and slip these on, man. You know, um, I would say the weight on them, um, if you wear Timberlands, uh, I would say this is probably about the same as the weight of Timberlands. And like I said, this is 10 and a half. So if you wear 10 and a half Timberland, pick the boot up. That's what size it is. Uh, these might even be um, an inch or two lighter. I want to go back around the shoe for you, let you check out the designs on the back and the material, uh, which is A1. You know, it gets it gets my highest quality approval. And that's a fact. And I like the little zipper functions as well. But if you're on the fence or if I convince you to scoop you up a pair of them, I would say do so if you can get a pair. At the end of the day, love the ones that love you. Stay in your lane. You'll always be safe. Peace.